Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Tyler Merkovich with Emory Hunter's Art of Playbook. Week 16 brings us Pittsburgh hosting the Ravens and the Steelers off cardiac arrest after a bunch of teams lose and they win on a miracle on the last play of the game. They're 7-7. Seven and seven. They still have an opportunity to make one of those last AFC wildcard spots. The Ravens are in gear and they look great to play in this cold weather if they get a cold weather game. Ray Rice running the ball, Flacco making plays, defense playing better as it gets Suggs back, Ed Reed still out when he comes back you know that secondary will be somewhat better but Pittsburgh has dynamic wide receivers and Baltimore has that struggle in the secondary also Pittsburgh has a struggle on the O-line so they really need to get to Ben Roethlisberger fast before he could hit his playmakers. What are your keys to victory? Well, keeps the victory for Baltimore. I look at the fact that they can't run the football. Baltimore is going to have to continue to feed the ball to Ray Rice. That opens up everything else on that offensive team with Flacco throwing the football, operating out, outstanding off of Flacco. So they have to continue to run the football with Ray Rice. Second, defensively, pressure on Roethlisberger is going to lead these guys to victory. They have to really disrupt his timing. Sack Roethlisberger. He's a big guy, 6'5", 250 can break tackle so when they get to him they have to hit him and make sure they bring him to the ground because if he gets outside the pocket he can cause a lot of problems backyard football you know Heinz Walker loves to play backyard football as well as Antonio Holmes slippery guy that can get outside and make moves once he gets the ball to 10 so they really have to wrap up when they get to Ben Roethlisberger and continue to apply that pressure put the pressure on the offensive line that's number one yeah Steelers defense they don't look the same like they have in the past they're, they got to need to get off the field on third down. The third down conversion rate on defense is horrendous. And Baltimore's really playing well on that down. They're getting Todd Heap involved. Flacco all of a sudden is playing like he did last year after struggling in the middle of the season. So what are your keys to victory for the Steelers? They have to run the football. That's going to shrink the game for these guys. If they even get Mendenhall involved and Moel be more involved in the game, they're going to have the opportunity to win this game going away because they have to run the football. You don't want to get, you don't want to have Roethlisberger throwing for 500 yards every game. So they have to develop balance by running that football with Mendenhall and Moore. Second, defensively, that secondary has to play up to the competition. The city of Pittsburgh is counting on that secondary to make plays back there in the back four. They have to step up. Don't let yourself be dependent on one person, which is Palomalu. Show everyone that you can play in the NFL. You earned their, their right to play. You earned your position. They have to step up and play big-time ball. I'm going with Baltimore in this matchup. Baltimore can't run the football. They don't break their balance for nobody. I like the way the Ravens are heading. They're playing hot going into the playoffs. Yeah, I don't think the Steelers are the same, especially on the defensive side of the ball more of an offensive team. They're changing their identity. I don't think that could be done in such a short period of time. I'm going to go with Baltimore also. I think they're going to get the win at Heinz Field, but this is going to be one of the best games of the week. This will be the best game of the week, and it could come down to field goals. I'm taking Baltimore kicking game over Pittsburgh's kicking game. If you like MMA, if you like boxing, then you'll love Baltimore and Pittsburgh because <laughs> it's going to be a fight on the field. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL.